Spiritual warfare is way more serious than what most people seem to realize. And just like in the video games, there is absolutely nothing like getting to the next level of your life without first fighting and overcoming the enemies that are holding you down where you are right now. Hey everyone, my name is JC Lashka and many thanks for finding time to join me on my today's teaching, which will give us insight and divine knowledge on how witches and human agents steals people's stars and destinies. A subject that has affected way too many people around the world on so many different levels of life. You know, when God created you, he had a perfect plan for your life, which according to Jeremiah eleven twenty two, 22, were plans meant to prosper you and not to harm you. And if this is the case, why then are so many people around the world suffering? One thing I would like you to know is that just as God had a good plan for your life, so did the enemy. And I'm telling you plainly right now that no matter how good God's plan are for your life, there are enemies everywhere, including in your own household, trying to sabotage and to destroy every good thing that God has assigned for you. There are people who never want to see other people happy or doing better than them. They are evil and wicked human agents who will be used by the enemy to make sure that nothing works for you as long as you live. Now, before I get into the main discussion, I would love to first elaborate on what exactly a star is and what it represents in a human being. A star is simply an aspect in you that is God-given in form of a spirit that enables you to operate within your purpose or calling. Every good fortune, ability, and plan of God upon your life is all tied up to your star. Now, how do people manage to steal other people's stars and destinies? That is the question we are asking today. Most people have heard about the concept of exchanged destinies. We all need to understand that your star is the one that determines the kind of life you're going to live while you're here. If you have a bright future and a great destiny in front of you, it is because your star is powerful and blessed. When evil people notice your ability to succeed in life on different levels, they start to plan evil against you, to block, cage, or exchange your destiny in order to bring you down and in order to disconnect God's blessing from your life. These people will visit witch doctors who will then assign and send you spiritual strongmen who are robbers and devourers to steal everything that God has given you without your knowledge. The witches will then program everything in their altars and summon their evil spirits to come and steal your star while you're asleep. Which is clearly indicated in the book of Matthew 13, 25. While men slept, his enemy came and saw tears amongst the wheat and went away. And this is why it is so important to pray before you go to bed. So you could summon the heavenly security to protect you from all the evil activities of the night. There are specific types of dreams that will appear to you while this operation is ongoing in your life. And that's why it is so important to remember your dreams when you wake up in the morning. So you could cancel every evil plan and assignment of the enemy against your life. As for those who are spiritually discerned, there are some common dreams that appears to you while this demonic operation is taking place in your life. Dreams like seeing people breaking into your house and taking away all your possessions. Strangers giving you counterfeit money. Moving out of your house and so on and so forth. Once you see anything that belongs to you being stolen while you're asleep, just be assured that your destiny is at risk of being stolen and exchanged. Because everything begins in the spiritual world before it even manifests in the physical world. If you do not cancel these types of dreams immediately when you wake up, if you do not enter into a serious season of fasting and praying, your life will take an immediate turn 
and everything in your life will start breaking down. I can never emphasize enough on the importance of remembering your dreams when you wake up in the morning. It is so much easier to gain victory over these wicked spirits immediately after God has shown you what is happening than to deal with them after they have already started manifesting in your life. For it becomes very difficult to gain victory over them. Very difficult. We are living in dangerous times. The enemy has fully taken over most people's lives. And he is not wasting any time using them to carry out all his evil plans against God's people. The good news, however, is that whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it can be restored. The promise of restoration is available for God's people. The scriptures for restoration is available for you. So you can use them powerfully while praying. There are people watching me right now who knows for a fact that they are not living the kind of life that God called them to live. For some of you, things used to be okay a while ago. Then suddenly everything took a wrong turn and nothing seemed to work anymore. Do not allow your enemies to rob you of your God-given blessings and destiny while you just sit there and watch. God is a wonderful God and it is my prayer today that he will give you the strength and the power you need to fully fight for whatever it is that the enemy has stolen from you and to make you come out victorious and with powerful testimonies. I will stop here for today, and it is my hope that today you will arise like David to pursue, to overtake, and to recover everything that the enemy has stolen from you. 1 John 5, 4, For whosoever has been born of God has overcome the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. You are an overcomer, and it doesn't matter how the situation looks like right now or how much the enemy has taken from you. God is able to fully restore you back to everything you lost with the enemy, just like he has promised in Isaiah 45, 3. He will give you the hidden treasures, riches stored in secret places, so that you may know that he is the Lord, the Lord of Israel, who summons you by your name. Now, for those of you who need guidance and prayers on how to fully proclaim back your lost destiny and blessings, get in touch with me through the contacts that I have provided in the description box. And your life will never be the same again. See you next time, and God bless you.